so when you perform CRT, you need to check all your system. I call this physical examination of your machine or inspection. So we start with the dialysate line, which is this one, the green one. This line should go from here up to here, then in the warmer, going down here, passing through this green pod, going up. This is the dialysate pump, which is running faster than the substitution, replacement solution pump. And then the fluid goes in, the tuber gets out, goes to the effluent line, which is the effluent line, which is this yellow one. This is the pressure pod, then goes down. This is the effluent pump, the one that runs faster because all the effluent is coming from here. Then it goes down, down till your back. The second. The second circuit we are going to to see is the replacement solution is the purple line. So the purple line comes from from here. So this one here goes up. This is the purple track goes up, and this is the replacement solution pump. And then the solution goes here up to here you and, and now we are going to check the citrate line so the citrate is the white path the white line it is this one it goes up here 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 and this is the citrate pump in this patient here I've turned it off because his ionized calcium was below 0.8. But anyway, this pump then goes from here, down, 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 here, and then goes, is the arterial line. It goes with citrate, but they are going in opposite directions. So the blood is going in this direction and the citrate in that direction where it will get mixed with the blood. So this is the arterial line, this is the pressure port, and it goes up here, this is the blood pump, and this place here is where your heparin, if you're using it, gets in the circuit, and here is your replacement solution when you're using pre replacement solution. solution when you're using pre replacement solution and then your blood goes up here this is the pressure pod goes up here in your future turns around now it's considered venous blood goes here and inside the aeration chamber then it goes down here here and gets back to the patient and you can the next step is to check if your fluid level in your deration chamber or bubble trap is in this line here so in this case it's it's proper it's suggested